Okay, we're going to create a SQL Agent job on our SQL A virtual machine. So we're going to expand our SQL Agent node, right click, select new job, and we're just going to call it job alpha. And the owner is going to be who we're logged in as, old uh, KMakers. Uh, the category we're going to leave as it is. So then we're going to create a new job step. Go to steps, click new, and we're going to call this clean free space and we're going to put in the command free space db name equals adventureworks2012 uh, okay, so I'm just going to clean free space adventure works. Uh, click OK. And then we're going to do a second step, which is going to be server server diagnostics. And that's going to be exec sp server diagnostics. Click OK. So there's our two job steps, and we're going to schedule it to run once a week on. So we'll just, what should we call it? Once. Well, actually, we'll just call it Sundays. Because uh, that's what we're going to do. It's going to occur on Sundays every week, and it's going to occur at 1 a.m. So we'll just amend that. I'm going to click OK. And for the target, local server. Um, sorry, what am I missing? We want to write to the Windows application log when the job completes. Where am I going to put that? Notifications. Ah, here we go. So, notifications, sorry. Um, this is where you can email a page or net send to people, uh, but we're going to just write to the Windows application log when the job completes. So we can set that up. So when we execute the job, we can look at the application log to see it. Click OK. Right, so that wouldn't run until later with it being a Sunday and all. So I'm going to expand jobs, go to my job alpha, and I'm just going to right click, start job at step. I'm just going to click Start. Oh, and it's failed. What have I done? So it's good anyway, so we can now look at the history. So right click, do history. So I got a typo in there. Yes, I have a typo in there. So properties, steps. So the first one that failed. Let's have a look what I've done. Ah, there we go. Stupid keyboard being the other way around on these virtual machines. So, at db name equals AdventureWorks2012. Click OK. Click OK. Start job. Click Start. And away we go. Wait for this to finish. So that's successfully executed. Again, if we right click the job, do a history, we can see it failed the first time, but it runs successfully when I write it afterwards. So let's close that. Now we're just going to have a look at the application log. Hopefully, I can get through it in here. Oops, what's going on? There we go. So, tools. Where are my logs? Tool services. Event viewer, maybe? No, not in there. I can never remember where things are. Tools, uh, services. No, I know it's not in that. Do, do, do. Where are you? Is it in Event viewer? Ah, there you go, Windows Logs. 
There is an event viewer. So, SQL Server Agent. Here we go. Written to the event log, um, application log. And you can see the. Actually, have we got an error over there? There we are. So, I got my fail in as well where there's a warning. Um, but we also have it very successful as well. Sorted. So, that's a job and execution.